Norfolk Machinist here. This here is a cross from Rat Catcher. Fresh out of the box yesterday. Um, and as it's a rat catcher, it's got a leak in between the bridge and the main tube. Being that it's brand new, I could take it back, but as I plan on avoiding the warranty anyway, there's no point. So, yeah. Um, they're very tunable. They're not for everyone. Obviously, they just run on CO2 capsules that go in here. Um, I think they're great. I've had several. Every time I sell one, I tend to buy another one. Mod it again in a different way. Try something new. Um, yeah. But what I'm about to show you today is how to remove anti tamper screws. Because. Uh, To disassemble the whole thing, you've got to screw this side and screw that side, and you've got to take that off. Um, and yeah, they they used to be held in with a uh, a screw that just had a domed head with a slot on either side, not all the way through. So all you needed to do was uh, grind up the middle of a flat screwdriver, and that'd work. But now they've got these. You can see it there, I'll zoom in. One way drive screws. Um, and there. You drive them in, and you can't undo them, supposedly. But you can, if you know what you're doing. So, what I'm about to show you is how I do that. Obviously, bear in mind uh, this will void any warranty you've got. So, uh, don't do this at home. As you can see, the uh, come on, focus, focus, screws out. So, on the head of it, it's a one way, so you can drive it in, but you can't drive it out. And they are, like I said, anti tamper screws, but all you need is a punch. It's got to be a, a flat edged punch, not a round edge. This one here is one that it's just a cheap Bergen one, but they don't have a chamfered edge. And you just push it against the little bit of the flat that's left. I have my fat fingers in the way. Push it against the little bit of the flat edge that's left and give it a tap. And then you, once it's loose, you can just use a screwdriver to take it out. There we go. Second one out. Come on, focus. Focus. There we 
There it is. Yeah. Second one out. Now you can, if you for any reason take this off to do something and you want to take it back, all these white marks here are telltale signs that they look for. Well, a black sharpie covers them up. What you do with that information is up to you. As you see, I'll zoom out. That's the stock of a rat catcher, which I just thought I'd show you how to remove a anti-tamp screw.